Who remembers that song by Dream? Things will only get better. <laughs> Well, it's not things will only get better. I wonder if it's Danny Ings can only get better. Welcome back to the West Ham Network. This is your West Ham Daily. I hope you are keeping safe and well as per usual. Thank you very much to Russ for giving us a little bit of a cheeky update. A little bit of a cheeky update with regards to Emerson, which of course is very good news for West Ham. Very good news if it's not going to be as long as we first anticipated. Fix this because I know that will annoy Russ at some point later today. Um, and this is just what happens, isn't it? When we could do do a little cheeky show. So, of course, um, you know, the take on the, the, the famous dream song, things can only get better, but things can only get better. And I think it's quite fitting that we talk about this Danny Ying situation even more than what it has, because even though the game against Burnley was a game of two halves. It was very eye-opening in terms of how West Ham played in the second half and how we utilised some of the players that haven't been featured as much this season or generally since they've came to the club. Danny Ings in particular, you know, since joining West Ham, has only played 45 times, but he has not started nearly all of those games at all. Um, This season in particular, he's only played... 14 games in the Premier League, of which, um, and and five in the Europa League, two in the FA Cup in total, banging in one goal. His last goal was against Ghent in the Europa Conference League last April, so it's been a long time coming for him. However, what's ironic about the whole situation is that shaking it up a little bit and bringing someone on when West Ham play a specific style, and what that means is we can actually play well And we can utilise players in the squad, but what we have got is players that like to play on the front foot, which is quite confusing considering that we don't tend to play on the front foot. Um, Danny Ings, right, whether you love him or hate him and people think he's down and out, in that performance against Burnley, what he's shown was fight and desire, and we've got to give him massive amount of credit, a huge amount of credit, because... Very unfortunate to get the goal chopped off. Fortunate to get the goal. And unfortunate not to score a third, which could have been a hat-trick in such a short space of time by hitting the bar. And because West Ham are on the front foot, you can see an outlet for a player like Danny Ings. You can see an outlet for any player, to be honest, who's a forward when West Ham play on the front foot, when West Ham play in that attacking style. But what you want is players to try and find a little bit of form, not getting carried away. Danny Ings has only scored one goal, but players to find form at the right time in the season when things maybe haven't been going so well. And if West Ham play in the front foot, you want someone like a Danny Ings to be on the end of those balls. He is delighted that he's made a massive impact. He even said on the West Ham website um, that it's been hard at times, but you never give up and you never stop believing in yourself. And you've got to give him credit because I think moves probably were brought to his attention over the summer. Um, Okay, yes, he may be on quite a lot of money per week, but I don't necessarily think Danny Ings is going to struggle to get some decent money. Maybe not the same as what he's been earning at West Ham, but decent money for the rest of his career, looking at a longer-term contract. But he's he's stuck around. His his contract expires um, next summer, so he's he's still with West Ham for a little while. But he, he will want to achieve big things, at football clubs, and maybe he sees something we don't. I don't know. Um, but essentially, the guy is a prolific goal scorer, and I think that if West Ham do decide to play on the front foot, then we could see someone like Danny Ings make the tail end of the season a little bit more enjoyable. What he said was, he said the first goal that he scored, which was chopped offside, really played with his emotions, and I think we all thought it was onside, but it wasn't meant to be. I'm just happy that when I was able to come back and get the goal in the end, it was a really good feeling to get on the score sheet. I've always tried to score those kind of goals when you're in the box. Your first instinct as a striker is to get your shot off, and luckily this one hit the back of the net. I could maybe have gone another one right at the end, but I maybe hit it too cleanly. I was devastated not to win it for the team in the end, but I did have an impact in the day, which I think was important 
in more ways or the other. And I think it really is. It's really important when you've got a player like that who's desperate, who is desperate to perform at the highest level. He really, really is. And I've given him, and I've given him a lot of criticism. I think, you know what, I've turned around and I've said, listen, I think Danny Ings could be done here. And you know what, Danny Ings could be done, but he is he, he has shown something and a bit of fight when some other, of the other players haven't. And if you've got a Danny Ings fighting to get on that pitch to prove a point, then so be it. And we've got a lot of games coming up between now and the end of the season. We've got a lot to fight for. You know, we're in the last 16 against Freiburg on, on Thursday, and that's such an important game. We've got the, the the Premier League game against Aston Villa coming up, obviously, at the weekend. Um, and there's going to be plenty of game time, especially if we do get through to the next round. Well, having a player that's just hit a goal and, and, and is buzzing from that. But there's a major but here. There is no point in playing a Danny Ings if West Ham are going on a low block. There is no point in West Ham playing Danny Ings. There's no point. I feel like now, you know, the people have made their decision up on Naifa Gerd, but I genuinely think a Naifa Gerd defender just has no point in playing for West Ham if we play a low block because he's not a low block defender. It's as simple as that, and that's what we've made our judgment on. And it's funny because people have judged a Gerd on West Ham's style of play based upon how Moyes decides to play. And people have judged Danny Ings' style of play <coughs> on David Moyes' style of play. But what are you going to do if you're a striker if West Ham play a low block? What are you going to do if you're up top on your own and you're not getting fed opportunities and we go in the counter? Danny Ings has never been a counter attack type striker. You know, he's not got the legs. He's never had the legs. Um, But he's your kind of box in the box within reason. But fair play to him. Sometimes when I see him in a West Ham shirt, he drops back in. He does a lot of his defensive duties. He works hard. Um, but he's been unlucky not to get himself on the score sheet. Again, equally though, not playing a lot of game time. Um, but I think he isn't finished. And I wonder um, that if David Moyes has hopefully learned his lesson playing an attacking style of football, creating chances and allowing players the freedom to really express what they believe they can do, can have a positive effect not just on those players, but on other players who are vying for their position in the team. Players like Danny Ings, who we essentially know can put the ball in the back of the net. Let's not forget his history of scoring goals. 250 um, appearances, as sorry, 130 appearances for Burnley, 43 goals, 14 assists. 100 appearances for Southampton, 46 goals, 10 assists. Aston Villa, 52 appearances, 14 goals, 8 assists. Um, just to name a few. But I'm not saying the season rides on Danny Ings. But essentially, things can only get better. And if you have this exciting attacking football coming from West Ham, then he's going to make a massive impact to the club between now and the end of the season. Let me know in your comments below what you think of what I have said about our good old talisman, Danny Ings.